All right, guys, so this is your lab assignment for Unit 4, Lesson 1 on sound relationships. So here's what I want you guys to do, all right? Um, in order to show me that you understand these concepts and that you have mastered uh, sound relationships, I want you to find examples, uh, clips from YouTube of existing films, and explain how each one of those examples utilizes the three different relationships and the... Uh, transition. Okay, so I want to see a clip that has both diegetic and non-diegetic sounds, and again, explain what the sounds are that I should be listening for, and why are they being used, right? Why do they use that non-diegetic music? Like we saw in the lesson, uh, Stanley Kubrick used the non-diegetic music in The Shining to kind of add to the dreadful tone of the film, all right? So explain the use of each of these. Uh, an on-screen and an off-screen sound, like we saw in the When Harry Met Sally clip. I want to see sounds that originate on-screen. I want to see sounds that originate off-screen, and I want you to explain why they're being used, right? And sometimes it's just as simple as, well, yeah, they're, it's an on-screen sound because the character is talking, and isn't it nice to <laughs> see them talking on screen, you know? Uh, and then just one example of a non-simultaneous sound. Um, notice I didn't put simultaneous sound on there because chances are it's gonna have it anyway. Um, but yeah, a non-simultaneous sound. Maybe a character, again, reflecting on uh, some advice that somebody gave them in the past, or like we saw in the example from Psycho, um, you know, uh, projecting what somebody might be thinking about them, this hypothetical conversation that maybe happened, maybe didn't happen, whatever, but she's thinking about it and it's in her head, that would be a non-simultaneous uh, sound. So we've got the three different sound relationships, then we've got the sound bridge. I want to see a clip that utilizes a sound bridge to get us out of one scene into the other one. We saw the example from Silence of the Lambs, um, where she's on the phone, and the thing that she's talking about now leads us to, you know, the new location, and we still hear her voice when we cut to that new location, uh, but it can just be, you know, a, a song starting uh, two seconds before we jump to the new scene, right? Whatever it might look like. So, find examples and explain how each one of them is used. Post them to the assignment on Google Classroom. Make sure that you explain them. A lot of you don't like to explain. Make sure you get the explanations in there for full points. Or, if you really want to impress me, make your own video that has an example of each of these things, okay? It doesn't need to tell a story. It doesn't need to be longer than a couple of seconds, all right? Um, but if you're gonna do the video, Again, make sure that all of this information is in here. I want to see a diegetic sound. I want to see an on-screen sound. I want to see an off-screen sound. I want to see a non-diegetic sound or hear all of these sounds, right? Um, and yeah, you can just post that video and that would be great too, okay? Um, email me if you have any questions and uh, good luck, all right? Bye.